Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. I'm trying to adjust uh, this meeting, so uh, I'm going to restart the meeting again, okay? Eh, voy a, a reiniciar nuevamente la reunión. Ah, no, ahí estamos. Ahí estamos, sí. Ok, perfecto. Ahí se está conectando ya. Muy bien, perfecto. Eh, veo que Ángel... Ok, ahí está Ángel. Solo que estoy viendo la pantalla de Ángel. Eh, tal vez si me puede quitar el compartir, Ángel. Hay alguien que... Ahí está. Gracias, Ángel. Muy amable. Thank you. Estoy viendo la pantalla de Ángel por alguna razón. No sé. Ahorita la quito. Sí, por favor, Ángel, porque necesito compartirle yo mi pantalla. Ah, pero... A ver, ¿a dónde me voy? Dejar de... Ahí creo que ya lo arreglamos. Muy bien, Ángel. Excelente. Sí, eh... Vamos a iniciar. Ok, good evening everybody. How are you today? Buenas noches, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos, bienvenidas. Um, for today we are going to continue with the 4.0 lesson objective, right? And uh, I would like to ask you how was the midterm exam. Me gustaría preguntarles cómo les fue con el examen de medio periodo. If you have had some difficulties and that I can help. Or is everything okay? Or si estamos bien, verdad en todo? Fine, teacher. Okay, excellent. I like to hear that. Eh, que bueno escuchar eso, right? Remember that I'm available to help you just in case you need. And uh, this week we are going to continue with the 4.0 lesson objective. And next week we are going to finish, right? Because remember that in our model we are just we just have four weeks. Right, so we need to take advantage of the time as much as we can. So, uh, for today, as I said before, we are going to continue with 4.0 lesson objective that says, in this class, participants will learn new vocabulary related to geography, right? So we are going to study about geography in the platform, what you have, excuse me, I need to adjust this in order to hear you better. Okay. Uh, in the in the platform what you have is the, is this video that says uh, vocabulary geography right uh, but uh, first i'm going to give you some vocabulary related to geography and later we are going to go over the topic the biggest and the best uh, which is about adjectives right so we are going to talk later um, in the second part of the class if time allow us um, about comparison with adjectives, right? In, in this case, we are going to use the vocabulary that we will learn about geography and then comparison adjectives. Uh, again, in the platform, you can go and watch this 4.3 conversation, what, with, which says, which is larger, right? And you can watch the video uh, as much as you can in order to continue repeating the vocabulary, uh, pronouncing the best way um, as uh, in the video is, is said. And later, um, we will continue for tomorrow um, with extra practice about uh, ask and answer questions using comparisons with adjectives, right? So this is what we are going to have today. So I'm going to stop sharing. And I will go to my screen that I have, to my presentation that I have for you tonight. And here I have this that says, um, this is some vocabulary. So I would like to hide myself in order to see it better. Okay, um, here uh, you will have uh, this in the available material that I will send you. Uh, we are going to talk about vocabulary related to coast, docks, port, marina, landslide, erosion, abrasion, by, harbor, cliff, arc, 
lighthouse, headland, peninsula, cape, cape, sea, ocean, sand, pebbles, stock, tide, grounds, uh, deposition, beach, sand dunes, mud flats, uh, salt marsh. Let's see here we have um, Stuari, Seawall, and Rockfall. All of these words are part of the geography uh, vocabulary. Uh, when we talk about um, geography vocabulary, we also talk about landscapes. In the landscapes, we can have cliff, coast, forest, um, desert, beach. Remember that this word is when it's the, the stronger part is goes at the beginning, we are talking about this, desert. But if you say desert, you are talking about a poster, right? So be careful because it can be a little bit confusing. So um, desert, beach, hill, island. In this case, the S doesn't sound. So you say island, jungle, pass, road. Then you have the dam, farmland, city, river, bridge, meadow, bay, park, volcano, pond. Uh, some other um, landforms, for example, we have an archipelago, a bay, a canyon, a cave, a coast, a continent, delta, uh, again, um, desert, a grassier hill, island, isthmus. We can have a lake, mountain, ocean, peninsula, plain, plateau, pond, river, strait, valley, volcano, waterfall. Okay, so here I have some um, landforms vocabulary. Uh, this is also related to geography. So we have here Ark, Arroyo, Bay, Canyon, uh, Chasm, Cinder Cone, Cliff, Island, Lake, Pass, Peninsula, Plain, uh, Prairie, Reef, River, Shoreline, Spring, Strait, Swamp, uh, Yardan. So because of the time, we won't work this here in class, right? But I will send it to you in the extra material. And the idea is that you can look for the new words that you don't know. So you have to go and look it up in a dictionary and then you complete this written exercise as ex something extra for you to know more vocabulary about land forms. Uh, because it's big, right? It's, it's a lot of material. So I'm just showing, showing it for you to continue at home, okay? Here we have this one that is a little bit easy, right? And they are just nine. So I will need nine volunteers to complete. For example, I have number one, beach, map, tree, lake, valley, bridge, road, waterfall, mountain. And we have some definitions. For example, a plant with a long stem or trunk supporting branches and leaves. An area of lowland between ranges of hills or mountains a picture or chart that shows the features of an area, a fall of water from a height, a usually rounded elevation of land lower than a mountain, an area of sand sloping down uh, to the water of a sea or lake, a place where goods are sold, a natural stream of water of usually considerable volume, a considerable volume, a body of usually fresh water surrounded by land. So who would like to start with beach? Like who wants to, to, be, to, do the, to, to read the definition of that word, number one? Let's see. This is a reading. Uh, please, go ahead, my dear. Adelante. An area of sand is sloping down to the water of a sea or lake. Yeah. Yeah, that can be, that's right. You can see the beach of a lake, the beach of the, of the sea, right? Okay. Thank you, thank you, Julio. Okay, number yeah. two, map. Who wants to read the, the meaning or the definition of map? Uh-huh, let's see. 
me teacher okay please go ahead uh, a picture of chart that show the future of an area excellent area. Mm -hmm. excellent mm -hmm. that's a map thank you number three a tree who can please read the me yeah please. may i teach you yes please of course uh, the tree right mm -hmm. the tree number three look a plant uh, number three con z mm -hmm. is uh -huh. the definition of a tree with t right okay <laughs> Yeah, okay. uh, a plant with a long stem or trunk supporting branches on leaves, mm -hmm. branches and leaves. Mm -hmm. It's correct. Yeah, that's correct. That's the definition of a tree. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much, my dear. Okay, lake. Who wants to read the definition of a lake? Let's see. I'll help you, right? Um, as much as I understand is a body of usually fresh water surrounded by land. That's a lake, right? Because around, it is, it's surrounded by land, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's continue with the next. Um, Bali. Me teacher. Yeah, please. An area of lowland between range of hills or mountains. Yeah, thank you. That's right. That's a that's a valley, right? Excellent. Uh, a bridge. Who can tell us the definition of a bridge? Let's see. Okay, let's leave bridge. Dejemos el bridge. Vamos a ver la siguiente. Porque no, no lo ubico en este momento y ahorita por descarte lo vamos a sacar. Road. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let's see. What is the road? Mm -hmm. What is? What is the meaning? Carretera. Road, camino, carretera. Mm -hmm. And mountain, siguiente, mountain. I, um, mountain, it's a usually rounded elevation of land, lower, lower than, no, 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 esa no es. Esa es un bridge. A usually rounded elevation of land lower than a mountain, right? Que vendría siendo como un peak, right? And then we have the waterfall. The waterfall is um, a fall of water from a height. Right? From a height. De una, oh. Desde una altura, ¿verdad? Desde una altura, from a height. Uh, and mountain? A place where goods are sold? Mm, that's the bridge. <laughs> oh, okay, it's, okay, it's a, okay. It's a funny, it's a funny definition, but that's the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, and then the mountain, let's see. Um, do, do, do. A body, no, it, it is not there. Two, four, oh. six, eight, nine. No, it doesn't appear. No. And you also know. No. No, it's not there. 
It's not their mountain. So that's the one missing. Okay, but the idea is that you can connect the meanings with the definitions, and that's a reading and comprehension. And I like to say that you understood most of them. So I want to congratulate you because it means that your vocabulary is wider, it, you're expanding your vocabulary, and you're learning new words. So that's the idea of this. Okay, um, later, um, we are going to talk about uh, some uh, WH questions when we talk about geography. Sometimes we need some keywords. For example, uh, how often, right? How often do you go to the mountain? How often do you go to the beach? How often do you go to the gym, right? Uh, you can say, I go to the gym twice, in, in this case, twice a week, right? But normally, when we talk about distances, we use the word how long. Uh, when we use how long, Basically, we're asking about the length or the duration of an action. For example, if I ask you, how long does it take to you to get to the gym? You can say it takes 30 minutes by bike, right? Es como, ¿cuánto tiempo te toma llegar a tal lugar? For example, I can ask um, Julio Cesar, how long does it take, uh, how long does it take you uh, to get to the um, to the ocean, for example, to la libertad. Could you please open your mic, my dear? Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. I say um, it takes 30 minutes in, in car, by in car. my car. By car. By car, by car. Or driving, right? Okay, okay. Excellent, excellent. So, thank you very much. So, remember that always that we talk about distances, we will use the word how long. How long does how long. it take? How long uh, does it take you to get to? To get to, and we can uh, use some of these words to get to the beach, to get to the valley, to get to the waterfalls, to get to the mountain. Or if we talk about um, these other places, right? For example, to go to the farmland, to go to the city, uh, to go to the river, to go to the volcano, right? So uh, we talk about how long. Uh, here I have some extra examples for you. I have here, for example, how far. How far is when you measure the distance, for example, in miles or in squared kilometers, right? And normally here in El Salvador, we talk about squared kilometers, uh, but in the US, since this is a big, big country, they normally use miles to measure distances. So the question is, how far is it? How far is it? That's the question. How far is it from? And then you write the name of a place, and then the preposition to, and then the name of other place. How far is it from Los Angeles to San Francisco? And here the answer is from Los Angeles to San Francisco is about 400 miles. You say it's about because you are not saying exactly the number of miles, but you say about, alrededor de, verdad? Uh, so, for example, um, let's see other volunteer. You can you can imagine, right? You can imagine. For example, Rene Guevara. Uh, how far is it from San Salvador to San Miguel? Do you know? Do you have an inference? Yes, uh, from Los Angeles to San Miguel is about one hundred. 134 kilometers. Kilometers, right. Yeah. Kilometers. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much for answering my question, my dear. Okay, the next question is uh, how long? How long, uh, for example, is a game of rugby in England? Uh, so it, when we ask how long, is like the, the time that um, 
takes in order to, from the beginning of the game to the start, I mean, to the end of the game, from the beginning, from the start of the game until the end. Uh, here, the answer is a game of rugby in England is 80 minutes. So I'm going to ask another volunteer. So let me see. Um, Daniel, Daniel Rugamas. How long is um, a soccer, a soccer game in El Salvador? Um, a game of soccer is um, uh, 19, no, uh, Mm -hmm. 90, mi 90 minutes, mm -hmm. yes, 90 minutes? Yes, 90 minutes, right? 90 minutes. So you have 45 minutes in the first part, another five, 45 minutes in the second part, right? Yes. Excellent, thank you, thank you, Daniel. Okay, let's see the next question. How often are the Olympic Games held? And here the answer is the Olympic Games are held every four years, right? In this case, we are talking about the frequency of the action, right? Uh, let me ask Angel. Angel, how often are the CONCACAF games? To so say something. If you have the answer, it's okay. If not, it's no problem. There's no problem, okay? I think the Olympic Games are... I don't know. Okay, Three, four years. Okay, don't worry. Let's see. Um, the World Games, for example, in Mundial, the, the, the soccer um, World Games. Soccer World Games, mm -hmm. five years, I think. Yeah, four years. Uh, so Let, let's say that the, the soccer World Games are held every four years, yeah? Okay. Let's say, so remember, how far is, is when we are asking about distances, so we need to measure them by kilometers or by miles, right? When we ask about how long, we are talking about the minutes or hours that uh, an activity can take, right? In order, from the beginning until the end. And when we say how often, we are asking about the frequency of an activity, right? Uh, and then, uh, here I have, a, you, you say, estimating the time or distance. The question is, how far is it? Is it far from here? How long does it take to get to? The possible answers, it's not very far. It's only about, you can say, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It won't take you very long to get there. It's the won't, it will not. Remember that want is la contracción de will not, ¿verdad? It's, it's a want. It won't take you very long to get there. For example, if I ask you, let's suppose that I'm here in San Salvador, and I ask you, uh, how long does it take to get to El Salvador del Mundo? Maybe you can say, it won't take you very long to get there. Or it, it's only about uh, 30 minutes to get there or it will take you approximately uh, 40 minutes to get there, if there's a lot of traffic, right? A traffic jam. Okay, so, uh, if in order to have a practice, we are going to use these words uh, by having as reference your, your um, workplace. Vamos a realizar esta práctica teniendo como referencia su lugar de trabajo, ¿sí? Entonces, vamos a preguntar, how far, eh, how far is your workplace, right? Eh, entonces, eh, the, the distance, you will calculate the distance talking about uh, your home, right? Eh, because the reference is your home, right? Uh, then eh, you can say, is it far from here? Okay, from here where? San Miguel, San Salvador, or where is here? Uh, how long does it take? In this case, when you say how long does it take, you need to measure in kilometers, right? And you can answer, it's not very far, it's only about uh, one hour, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and so on, okay? 
So, do you have questions about uh, this exercise? Tenemos preguntas acerca de este ejercicio. Básicamente lo que vamos a hacer es tomar de guía desde estas preguntas y las posibles respuestas. Y el lugar del que vamos a hablar es de nuestro trabajo, ¿verdad? De nuestro lugar de trabajo. O puede ser nuestro lugar de estudio, si ustedes quieren. So, I will move you to the breakout rooms. Vamos a ir a los salones pequeños. And then you are going to discuss. And you are going to use this question. How far, how long, okay? Do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta acá? Yes, miss, I have one. Yes, please, tell me. Uh, about how long? Um, sometimes I, mm -hmm. I heard uh, that sentence. For example, mm -hmm. uh, I remember the persons told me how long did you work? Um, how long did you work? Uh, uh, that that question I understood uh, in in that moment. Like, cuánto tiempo trabajo ahí? Yes. Like this. Yes. I don't know, man. In this case, yeah, it's time. Yeah, uh, when you ask how long, oh, uh, always the answer is about time. You can measure oh. it in, remember that time can be measured by seconds, minutes, hours, weeks, I mean days, oh. weeks, uh, months, and years. So uh, okay. this, this person that asked you the question was expecting a, an answer from you about maybe months or years, right? Uh -huh. And when, and that's true. When in a job interview, someone asks you, and how long did you, did you work there? They are expecting that you say, I worked there for a year or a year and a half or two years and so on, right? Because mm -hmm. what they are doing is measuring your stability in a job. Uh, and that's okay. But in this case, we are trying to measure uh, the distance, but in, in time right again can be minutes or can be hours right uh, okay. ¿Sí? okay es como lo voy a decir en español en este caso es medimos la de alguna manera la distancia de un lugar a otro pero en tiempo cuánto tiempo nos toma llegar ahí y es lo mismo solo que estamos usando las unidades de medida más pequeñas que son minutos y horas las unidades mm. más grandes son días semanas meses años entonces Mm -hmm. Always, as Emperatriz says, always that we use the word how long, we are talking about time. Siempre que utilicemos how long, la respuesta está relacionada a tiempo. Uh, when we use how far, it's about distance. Cuando hablamos de how far, estamos hablando acerca de distancia, ¿verdad? That can uh -huh. be kilometers or miles or even meters, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Miss, it... Mm -hmm. If the people ask me, ask me, for example, ¿cuánto, ¿cuánto tiempo tiene trabajando ahí? Eh, how long have It's, you been working there? Oh, uh, okay. Or, say, or if correct, how many times do you work now? No, how many no, uh, porque en todo caso sería much, how much time. Oh, okay. Sí, porque because the time itself, I cannot count it one by one. Remember that I use how many when I can count one by one. La regla okay. es que yo utilizo how many cuando yo puedo contar uno a uno. But in the case of time, you need to use um, another uh, measure, for example, uh, seconds, minutes, and so on, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So it's much. How much? How much time? Oh eh, si lo quiero hacer así, pero normalmente digo, how long have you been working there? ¿Cuánto okay. tiempo has estado trabajando ahí? Y utilizo el have you been porque I suppose that you still work there. Porque eh, uh -huh. usted todavía trabaja ahí. Entonces, have you been? Has estado porque todavía continúas estando trabajando ahí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been working there? Or in the, on this case, how much, right? But not how many. Uh -huh. 
Okay, thank okay. you, Miss. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, my dears, I'm going to stop sharing and I'll send you now to the breakout rooms in order that you can practice uh, these uh, two expressions um, in order to say how long and how far, okay? Do you have questions? Tenemos preguntas hasta acá? Okay, eh, pensaría yo que no, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a ir. So I'll invite you and I'll open the rooms now. Voy a estar. Okay. Hola. Eh, me. 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 Entendí que íbamos a hacernos las preguntas y vamos a contestar en referencia a nuestro trabajo. Yes. Hello, my dears. Hola, I'm here. Hello. You can ask me. Uh, Hello. Hello. You can say, for example, I can ask, for example, Carlos Escobar. Carlos Escobar, where do you work? Uh, I work in... El Chaparral Project. El Chaparral Project, ok. And where do you live? I live in Santa Ana. Ok, very good. So I can ask you, and how far is your job uh, from uh, your house? Uh, or you can say, uh, the, you can use the expressions, right? Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. It's about... It's about uh, 250 kilometers. Wow, wow, it's, it's very yeah. far, it's very far. Yeah. Right? So, yes. uh, next question, for example, how long does it take you to get there? Um, maybe in car, if you have a car. By, by car, uh, by car. If you have a car, okay. Four or five oh. Wow, it's yeah. a big. If you, if you take a bus, uh, seven hours. Oh my God, it's like the whole day traveling. Yes. But wow. It's very cool. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for for Thank sharing, you. Carlos. Okay, that's the way. It's like uh, three, like three or four questions. Where do you work? And then you okay. the, you answer. And then how and where do you live and how far is your job uh, from the place you live and how long does it take to get there? Okay. okay. I will start with Noria. Okay. I, I'll leave you because I need to supervise the other teams and help them, okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> Noria, where do you work? Hello, Eric. How are you? Can you hear me, my dear? Hello, hello, Eric. Would you like to join us in the breakout rooms to practice? I'm here. I'm here. Hello, hello, is everything okay yes. here? May I help you? That's okay. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay. Um, just a key for you if you want to take it, you can ask uh, first to start the conversation, like where do you live and where do you work? And then you ask, right, how long and or how, um, how far is your workplace from the place you live or how far is your workplace from your home, right? 
Okay. And then that will lead you to the next question that is how long does it take you to get there, right? Okay. Okay, excellent. I'll leave you because I need to supervise the other teams to work, okay? If you have okay. questions, let me know. Okay. No. Hello, my dear. Hello, Ingrid, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. My dear, yeah. are, are you working alone? Nobody else in your team? I don't know. I say um, the invitation, but only you, only me. Oh my God, okay. But I will work with you then because I have someone in the, in the main room, but maybe uh, she's having problem with the audio or the internet because she, uh, when I ask her, uh, she's not answering. So maybe she cannot hear me. Okay? okay. So I'm going to work with you. I would like to ask you, um, where do you live, my dear um, Ingrid? In San Salvador. In San Salvador. Okay, very good. And where do you work? In, in San Salvador, in the capital. Okay, perfect. So, um, how long uh, does it take uh, or how far is your job from the place you live? It's not very far. Okay, so you ha do you have to take a bus or do you walk or uh, how long uh, is the distance? Uh, it's only about five minutes in car. Mm. Okay, excellent, very good, with no traffic jams, right? Yeah. <laughs> because that can make you a big difference, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, so in my case, um, it takes me like one hour and a half and yeah. from the place I live to my workplace because of the traffic jam, right? So yeah. it's, it's not because it's far, because uh, with no traffic jams, it's like 25 minutes or half an hour. But uh, because of the, of the traffic jam, it can take, it, it can take uh, one hour and a half. Okay, my wow. dear, uh, I'll go to the other group and then I'll call you back to the plenary session in order that you can share with us, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much to you. See you. See you. About 40, 40 minutes, 45 minutes. If far, uh, uh, da, Daniel, excuse me, far, we use the distance with mi mi uh, miles or kilometers. Ah, okay. No it's minutes. A, I think, I think it's. Uh, about 20, 27 kilometers. Okay. Hello, my dears, how is it going? Uh, are you being, uh, uh, pra have you been practicing? Yes. All of yes, you? Teacher. Yes, teacher. About to finish? Are you about to finish? Yes, um, about to finish. Excellent. I'll give you one extra minute for you to continue practicing and then we will go back to the breakout room to share your conversation and about the distances you, you talk about, okay? Thank you. See you. Yeah. Okay. Hello, hello, my dear participants. Welcome back to the plenary session. We are waiting for people to join us again in order to continue talking about um, distances. And I'm going to share with you the presentation for you to remind the key questions, right? So I would like to ask, uh, do we have a team that would like to share? to perform like the short conversation you did in the breakout room? 
Who would like to start? Let's see, maybe Julio Cesar and Tim. Okay. My thing is in Imperatriz. Okay. Um, Angel. Okay, Emperatriz and Angel. So you decide the way you start and, the, and who is going to ask and who's going to answer. Uh, uh, if you want, uh, I can uh, start. Um, okay, Angel, how far is it your work? Uh, from my, uh, it's not far, it's very near from my home. That's okay. How long does it stay to get the work? Uh, it, it takes uh, 20 minutes to get my, to get my work. Ah, okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Emperatriz. Yes. How far is in your work? In one hour? Is it in one hour? It's very okay. Um, how long does it take to work to get the work? Uh, oh, sorry. In the first one, if I'm going to say uh, 10 kilometers, for example. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> and in the second one is the time. It's How the long time. does it yes. take to get there or to get uh, your, work, your workplace? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, in one hour. It's in one hour. It takes one hour to get there. Okay. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay. Um, did you finish or are you going to ask somebody else? I'm finished, Miss. Me, okay. I'm finished. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, team. Thank you very much. I would like to hear uh, maybe Carlos' team. Carlitos, would you like to share with us? Hello. Hello, Carlitos. Hi, teacher. Hi, my dear. Would you like to share the distance? How far, uh, how long your workplace? Yeah. Uh, it's not very far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, who was part of your team? Who was working with you? Uh, I work in, in the project with Chaparral. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, is, and how far is it? Uh, from from my home is about uh, two hundred and fifty five kilometers. Oh wow! Uh, so so you live in where do you live? In Santana. Yes, it's the ex yes. extreme to extreme of the country. Yes, yes. yes. So. Uh, um so we can say that it is very far right from your home yes so yes. how long so how long does it take to get there um, if you if you drive mm -hmm. your car you you can take a four four or or five hours wow four or five hours driving yes. Uh, yes. By, uh, by car, right? Uh, you take a bus um, seven, seven or eight hours. Wow, the whole day. <laughs> My God. Yeah, it's yeah. a very far place. Yes. Yes. Okay, Carlito, thank you. Okay, who else was in Carlito's group? ¿Quién más estaba en el grupo de Carlos? Noria. Noria and Elizabeth. Okay, Noria. Noria, would you like to ask Elizabeth? No. Were you able to answer the questions? ¿Pudieron hacerse y responderse las preguntas? 
Okay. <laughs> but now you can ask your, your classmate. Uh -huh. Teacher, se, este día, no sé por qué, pero la conexión se oye. La, 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 la. Okay. Yo no escucho no entrecortado. Don't worry, don't worry. I understand. I know. Don't worry. It's okay. Sorry. Don't worry. It's going to be better tomorrow. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Um, do we have any other team that would like to participate? Let's see, vamos a ver. Eh, René's team, no sé si el equipo de René. Hello, teacher Grace. Uh, my classmate is Miss Daniel. Okay, please go ahead. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> okay, Daniel, ask him, please. Ah, okay. Um, how how far uh, is is your work? It's not very far. Okay. My word, my word is very near uh, uh, from my hub, for my home. Oh. Okay. Um, how long does it take to get there? It will. It will take you approximately um, 20 minutes mm -hmm. to get there. Okay. Is okay. it far from San Salvador? Repeat, please. Is it far from San Salvador? The question number two. Ah, yes. It's very far. Okay. Okay, thank you. Now, um, Rene, you can ask Daniel if you want. I don't know if you practice yes. in that way. Yeah, okay? Yes. Okay. Daniel, how far is it? It's um, very far. How long does it take to get there? I I take um, more or less. Uh, 45 minutes to get there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you, my dears, for participating. Do we have a, um, a third group? Tenemos un grupo adicional que se me haya quedado. No sé si el grupo de Ángel ya había participado o si Ángel estaba en otro equipo que ya participó. Hello, my dear. Hello, hello, Ángel. No sé si Ángel nos puede escuchar. Okay, uh, because of the time, we are going to stop uh, this practice here because we just have a couple of minutes. So I would like that you can help me to complete these questions, okay? So in this case, we are talking about how long, how far, how often, and we are going to include how tall right? How tall? So I'm going to try to write and I would like that you can help me to, to answer, right? Eh, voy a pedirles que me ayuden a responder, okay? We have the answers, uh, but we need to formulate the question. So the, fir the first says, the first answer says, I am 1.7 meters tall. So which WH word do you think we, we should use? How long, how far, how often, or how tall? How tall. Okay, so we say, how tall, voy a poner en mayúsculas para que se vea mejor, how tall are you, right? If someone asks, how, how tall are you, the answer is, I am 1.7 meters tall. Okay, look, number two. In the number two, we have the answer, I go to London once a year. So, what do you think they're asking? How long, how far, how often, or how tall? I think it, I think it's how often do you go? How often do you go to London? Okay, how often do you go to London? That's right, thank you, because 
If you see, the answer is a period of time. So uh, in this case, it's how uh, often, it's the frequency, right? Okay, number uh, three, the answer says, I have visited so many countries that I don't know the exact number. So which do you think is the question? How long, how far, how often, how tall? Etc. Puede haber ahí alguna, ¿verdad? Que no esté. How much of country have you visited? Ajá, casi, cerquita, very close. Ok, le voy a ayudar. Es how many, ahí sí. Uh, how many countries? I will explain why. How many countries um, have you visited? Right? How many countries have you visited? Because you can count the countries. Porque sí podemos contar los países, ¿verdad? They are like um, one by one, for example. Um, even though they are conform of people, but we can count and we can say that in North America, we have the United States, one, Canada, two, Mexico, three. So in the North American part, we have, there are three countries. So we can count them, right? So yeah. in this case, it's how many, right? Teacher. Adelante. Uh, uh, my my dog is in in this case. Mm -hmm. uh, he he didn't or oh, or oh, he didn't know the exact number. Yeah, the answer is that he don't, doesn't remember or don't know exact the number, right? Uh, maybe because he doesn't remember. Tal vez no se recuerda, verdad? Por eso no puede decir ten, five, six, right? But they, they can be counted. Pero sí es un número que se puede contar. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. excellent. Thank okay. you. So, let's see the number four. It says, my holiday summer will last for three weeks. So, which do you think is the, the question? How long, how far, how often, how tall? How long? How long, right? So, how long? Uh, how long will... Podemos decir, will be your holidays. Okay, how long will be your holidays, right? Eh, ¿Cuánto van a durar tus vacaciones, verdad? O, en este caso. Okay, let's see. Uh, number five. The answer says, I earn two euros a month. So, what do you think is the question? How much? How much? How much? Yeah, excellent. How much? How much do you earn? Yeah. Earn monthly. Yeah. Right? How much do you earn monthly? I earn 2,000 euros a month. Okay, very good. So let's go to the next. Uh, I have here, I have got three children. Uh -huh. We can count the children, right? One, two, three, four, five. How many? How many? How many? Yeah, how many children do how you many have? Children. How many children do you have? I've got three children. Okay, so uh, number seven, look at the, at the answer. It says, um, it takes me 20 minutes to get to work. How long? Yeah. Okay, so if you go here, you say, how long, how far, how often, it's how long, right? How long, how long. does it take, right? How long does it take you take you your workplace? How long does it take you to your workplace, right? Okay, in the number eight, it's 12 kilometers to my office from my home. So what do you think is the question? How far? far. How far? Okay, so we are going to ask how far? How far is your... Yes. Your workplace, uh -huh. how far is your workplace or your office? In order to use the same word, your office.
from your home, or, yeah, or from home. How far is your office from home? Okay, it's 12 kilometers to my office from my home, okay. So let's see, we are about to finish because time is over. So the next answer says, I work 40 hours a week. So what do you think is the question? How often? Yeah, but in this case, I'm offering How a long? number of hours. How long do you work a week? Or how many hours or how much time, right? Vean, tenemos dos formas. How much time do you work? Esta podría ser una. Do you work? Yeah. And the other could be uh, how many hours do you work per week? Okay, there are two possible uh, questions, right? For that answer, how much time do you work? Or how many hours do you work per week? Right, because they are giving me the information of I work for, I'm, I'm answering I work for hours a week. Okay, and the last one, uh, look, the question says, my company is very successful. Mm -hmm. Maybe how is your company, right? How is your company? It's like asking for a short description of my company, right? And then I say, my company is very successful. Okay, my dears, do you have questions about how to use the WH? Okay, let's see. Eh, creo que hay una que se nos quedó, fíjense. <laughs> sí, se nos quedó una. It takes me 20 minutes to get to work. Esa no la hicimos. Ah, ok, ya. Yeah. I got it. Mm -hmm. A ver. No sé por qué me falta una pregunta, fíjense. Si sí, nos hizo falta una, o creo que yo la borré por error, chicos, perdón. Ya la vamos a completar. Era, eh, how long does it take, verdad? No, ahí estaba ya. It's the kilometer, how much time? No, era how far. How far is your office yes. from home? Yes. Por alguna razón se borró. How far is your office from home? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for your participation in this topic. I hope that everything is clear with the WH words, in especially how long, how far, and we have added how much and how often and how many and how much that you already know them, okay? So, uh, do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí de este tema? No questions. Okay, excellent. So for tomorrow, we are going to continue practicing this and we are going to go back to the platform in order to look for the exercises that we need to solve regarding to this topic. Thank you very much for coming. I appreciate that and I hope to see you tomorrow here in class, okay? Be safe. Good night and good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow.